Hello and welcome to the Nexus. As you can see from the thumbnail, well, I'm doing the Alien build. Now this is from France. Uh, I'm getting it shipped over here. I have issue one here. I've got issue two, two, eight to come in. Uh, my plan is to release a video once a week for this. And this is really the introduction to it as well. So that's the front of the cover. Um, and that's the back. Um, it's all in French inside, but uh, you can sort of see what you get. Um, we get a nice introduction as well. And a lot of flyers. And the parts. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at everything and get building. Okay, so these are the parts that we get. This is all you get in issue one. You get your screwdriver, you get your parts as well. Uh, we'll get onto that in just a second. Let's take a closer look at all the fly bits that we get. So, uh, if you do subscribe to this. Now, when this does come to the UK, um, the only thing that will change on this will be, uh, it'll be in English instead of French. That's the only difference. Uh, this is about subscription gifts. Um, so in box in your first box you get you pay for issue two and you get issue three for free. You also get uh, Aliens DVD there, and you also get a binder as well with your first. If you if you subscribe, this is what you get in your first box. In the fourth shipment, you get a tin sign or a metal sign. We've had one of those before many times. Uh, in your eighth. Uh, box you get the xenomorph alien figure here uh, it's a one tenth scale it's quite nice it's a resin one uh, as well uh, so that's what you get if you subscribe there's the parts that we're, we're going to be doing in issues two and three uh, this is another thing for subscribing there uh, this is an early special offer gift so if you uh, su subscribe early uh, in your six box you get this nice mug just like that. So that's what you get. Um, so yeah, you get that. Uh, you also get, obviously, our introduction. So this is, I'm just gonna go through all this now. Now there are some good bits and some bad bits. Um, I think it's all good. I'm gonna be building this. It's one, two scale. So it's the, uh, it's 120 meters tall. Uh, so it's about as tall as the Terminator that we've done before uh, from Hachette. Um, and start and that and this is the actual uh, model here. So it's going to be made from uh, I think it's got an interior die cast um, Sort of skeletal structure. It's going to be uh, plastic and rubber Now it's so the rubber's okay, but if you've ever owned anything with rubber anything silicone rubber uh, latex it does have a shelf life. I've owned uh, many things made out of this. Uh, Hot Toys are specially nouned for it. Uh, we'll see when we go building it, but I think most of the rubber bits are on the arm, which is okay. It's when they're uh, stretched over joint marks that you tend to get um, breakages and breakdown. But uh, silicone rubber and, um, and stuff like that reacts differently to different types of heat as well. So it's all worth taking into account. So, uh, yeah, so here we go. Here is just a little uh, in, in, inside to that. And uh, we have the bottom bit here. This is really cool. So in the magazine, it shows us the process they went to make the alien suit for the film. Uh, this is the process. So obviously it starts off as an egg. The egg hatches, the face hugger comes out, it infects the host, and then it just states into our alien here. And we're gonna come on to that in a, just a minute. Uh, as well so this alien uh, I've seen some criticism about it about uh, the dome lighting up and stuff like that in fact the first alien uh, from the aliens movie uh, doesn't light up like that, but it does have a transparent um, skull dome which it does here it doesn't show up very well because it's mainly in the dark um, so some some uh, some good bits uh, all the electronics for this is in the head so the light, head lights up, the, the mouth and jaw open, 
and uh, the head moves to sound. So um, if you make a noise over here, the head will move there. If you make a noise over here, the head moves there. Uh, obviously, it lights up and the jaw comes out. That is the only mechanical mechanism on this. Now, I'm, I think it comes with a stand. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't picture here, and it doesn't say anywhere in the magazine that it comes with a stand. Um, but I would imagine it does. Uh, but I think it's just a base. It doesn't come with something that holds it. Uh, also to take into account the hands here. So the hands here, the fingers are not articulated. This is how the hands stay. They do not bend in any way, shape or form. Um, there is no way to uh, move the hands or the fingers, I should say. The hand can move, but the fingers can't. Also with the tail... That is how the tail is. There is no way of bending uh, or manipulating the tail in any way. This is how it comes. There's no way of moving it in a different position. So it has to stay in this position. I'm sure um, there'll be mods out and people modding it uh, to have that effect. But I do believe that is a one piece. That section there is one piece. And it doesn't. It, you can't move it in any way. But yeah, you can really see this sort of... Uh, the detail there on, on the figure there, there's the front of it. It looks really good. I'm so pleased that I'm going to be doing this. Um, yeah, so that's that. Obviously, this is the poster as well. And it's a really nice poster. So I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to place it sideways a little bit. So it's a really big one. And you've got the alien head there all in the green, which is nice. Uh, but there's the... Do the, uh, the, the um, the good and the bad, I should say. Um, and just before I go, it is only 100 issues. So just here, it's only 100 issues long. So uh, like uh, a lot of the other ones, they've, they're have they sort of extending these, aren't they? They're sort of going longer, uh, like 120 issues or 130. This is the magazine. You see what you get with the, uh, the next issue there. This is how we're going to be building it. Obviously, this takes us through the film. And what our models will, will have, as you can see here. Um, and the details and the stuff like that. Then it comes on to the design process and what they did with how they made the suit. And that is it for this section. Uh, and this is obviously issue one. Uh, so you get a lot of stuff, um, a lot of paperwork there. But these are the parts that we get. So let's get building. So just like with a lot of other builds... We have uh, the top part of the jaw here, or the inner mouth, and then we've got the front part of the skull. This is going to go around, and we're just going to... Now, this is a, a sort of a, a really flexible plastic. I mean, it's. I mean, look at that. It's, it's, it's quite flexible. It's almost like a, a silicone-y plastic type. Um, this is um, obviously... Plastic. I don't think there's going to be a lot of die cast in this model. Um, so yeah, so we're going to stick that just on there. We're going to take our screwdriver and our screws because we don't need any glue. We don't need any uh, anything else. So these are the screws here. Uh, we obviously get uh, four, of, but we only need three. We always get a spare. Uh, like I said, nothing really changes when we get this so that goes in really nicely and it's got like the alien coat in there which is nice so i'm just gonna screw that in it's all going together really nicely um this is hachette so they don't label their screws as always That one goes in there, like that. So we, now we don't need the screwdriver or the screws. We've done the screwing and the parts there. So now what we're going to do is fix the top part of the jaw. So we need the, uh, the jaw section there. And we need the teeth. And the teeth are die cast. I'm surprised with that. So I'm just going to get these out because 
some of them are sort of stuck in with sellotape and some aren't. But yeah, they're, they're die cast. I'm surprised with that. Very surprised. Um, okay. So first we're going to stick in. Now these, these are all numbered. Uh, well numbered, I should say they're lettered. They're all lettered. So we're going to grow A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All the way around. So we've got A. And these just literally push in. They don't come out. That is really, that is really sharp. I don't know if you can see that. That is, yeah, that's really sharp. So we've got A in. Then we're going to have B. Just there. And then B's going to go... Uh, like so. And then C. Just there. Like that. Uh, D. Is our big front ones there. Go in. We've got uh, E. That'll be our next one. So the letters go. Uh, I think they go on the outside. Yeah. So the letters go on the outside. Then we've got F. Which is our next one. Just goes in there. And last but not least. G. Now I'm really surprised that these are die cast. But look at that then what we're going to do is this slot here is going to go just in here like so look at that there we go and that is issue one complete and it looks so good um yeah the teeth are really in um i haven't glued them it doesn't say to glue them but I'm, um, well, I would have thought that if they do fall out, I think, uh, just to glue them in to hold them in place. But yeah, so this is a sort of a plastic, soft plastic this is. Um, but those teeth, I'm very surprised, but they are die cast, which is nice. And that's it. That's the front of the head. And as you can see, it's quite big. That's only the front section. I do believe there's another two sections to this. So I think it's... I think it goes to about here, so it is fairly big, and that is it. And I've got to say that that is I'm impressed already. I'm so I'm so psyched that I'm actually doing this now. Um, there's a bit of weight to the front of this now with the die cast teeth there, which is really nice. Um, obviously, there's going to be uh, piping and and all sorts going in this. Uh, all the electrics, like I said, all go into the head here. It lights up, it moves, the mouth opens, which we'll see in the next couple of issues. So, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to, uh, to have the rest of the issues here soon. And then I will release a video once a week, once I've got the majority of them here. Um, as plans for the UK, I don't know. Um, Hachette's still... Um, test build um or do tests for their builds before releasing them uh i've never known them not to release a test run before release uh they've never done a release uh, test run of this build i do expect it to come out in the uk uh but like i said it's 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 strange for them not to do a test run and then just release it um but it is what it is um if it does come out it'll be the same as this, it won't be any different. Um, and in time scale wise, if it does get a test release this year, it won't be until next year. It's normally between six and 18 months before release. It's normally on the 12 month mark. So um, if they did a test run now, uh, you're looking at like at least 12 months before it's a full release. Um, but yeah, I'm getting it. Uh, all the details where I get it from are in the description below. And uh, if you're uh, a Patreon, obviously, you will get to see all of these videos straight away instead of waiting weeks and weeks. So there is an incentive there um, to be a patron. Uh, but anyway, that is really cool. I'm loving this already, and I've only done issue one. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next video.